What is up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to diffuse sunlight using the inside of a reflector to get softer tones on the models, uh, features and face, and I hope this is helpful. Uh, enjoy! Okay, so um, I shot this about two days ago, this I'm recording today, but I didn't have time to film my explanation on the day because I didn't have someone to hold the camera. Um, what we did is we shot with Caitlin, uh, Caitlin Wright from, she's Miss Benoni, currently 2019. Um, we did a test run with her just to show you how the difference between harsh light and how you can just use the inside of this to um, diffuse light on the model. So in the behind the scenes video, you can see to the right there's a, a stand holding a reflector. If you had someone that would be easier to, so they can help you uh, hold it up. But I just put it on a stand with a with a reflector arm and I diffuse the light. Um, here's another clip where you can see if I pull the reflector out how harsh the features are and then you can see how soft the light is without it. In these three shots you can see the difference between uh, the diffused light, which is the first one, then the same settings without the diffused light, how harsh and overexposed it is. And then if I had to use the direct sunlight and expose properly, this is what it would look like. So the difference between that and the, the soft light from the diffused light is, is way softer and more uh, flattering. So um, back to the diffuser. So a lot of people own this. When you start photography, you all buy one. Um, it's a silver one and then it's black on the other side. This is also quite cool for, for negative fills. Then the, then the inside of this is obviously if you flip it around you've got gold. Don't ever use the gold unless you're being creative because it's a horrible color. And then you've got a white which will also be reflective but less reflective than the silver. Um, also easy on your model's eyes because I mean people take this and then I bounce light into the model's eyes and, and she's squinting all day and uncomfortable and stuff so that's why I prefer flash because it's not as much of an uncomfortable situation in this but if you have to this works like a bomb and then um, the inside is what pop a lot of people ignore um, which firstly it works as a soft bounce so softer than all of those but what you want to do is basically just hold this in front of the Sun so that the shadow is on the model's face and then instead of it blocking complete sunlight it's letting through some so it acts as a soft box for the Sun which is very flattering for um, for skin tones and stuff. And if you if you're out in the open, say on the beach or where we were on the field, there's no shade above you. You just whip this out, block the model's face, it makes it easy on her eyes, and um, you get much better shots. The only problem is you will see there's a line that will come across her hips because it's, this is a shadow making a shadow on her. Um, and yeah, that's just, just it's very it's a very handy thing to have. If you had to do strobe work outside you didn't have shade you can totally at 12 o'clock especially you can totally hold this above model's head and you'll get shade on her face and then you can fill the rest in with flash which we did actually do um some also if you want to see that on instagram i did block the sun with this and add my own flash from the side you'll see that at the end otherwise um i hope you enjoy this i hope this is helpful um if you have one of these go out try it out just shadow the model's face with this if you get this really close to the face i'd say like like 30 centimeters about yeah um the light will be much brighter than if you block the shade from over there so get it quite close as usual if you enjoyed this or if this was a little bit helpful please like it let me know in the comments what you need help with i will try and make a video on it i'm getting very close to 1000 subs and i'm uh, quite chuffed with that milestone so um, i really appreciate the effort and uh support from you guys and uh, i hope you've been enjoying the new content thanks for coming to my instagram please follow me if you haven't 
and uh, comment. Let me know what you need. If you have questions, let me know. I'll try to help everybody. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want to check out Caitlin's page, please check her Instagram. I'll link it below. I'll also put the handle up here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the quick tips. I'm going to try to do them more often. I know this was longer than normal, but it was a bit of explaining. So enjoy some more B-roll, some stills, some uh, edited versions and unedited versions. Enjoy.